using a Braille display with a Chromebook. Plug a Braille display into a USB port in the Chromebook. If it starts Chromevox, this Braille display works with the Chromebook. Didn't work? Contact the manufacturer or determine from the documentation with the device that the Braille display that you're using supports Chromebook Chromebox. Let's assume your Braille display works with the Chromebook. Some Braille displays require the USB port to be configured. On the Orbit 20, enter a space.2.7 before plugging the cable in. With Braille note takers, you're always going to want to place the Braille note taker in terminal mode. Still didn't work. Have the very latest Chrome OS installed on the Chromebook, the beta channel if possible. Still didn't work. Have the latest firmware installed in the Braille display. Let's assume you now have a Braille display working with a Chromebook. Braille commands. These commands are usually referred to as the legacy commands. Thank you, Telesensory. Top of page, space, dots one, two, three. Bottom of page, space, dots four, five, six. Next object, space, dot four. Next word, space, dot five. Next character, space, dot six. Previous object, space, dot one. Previous word, space, dot two. Previous character, space, dot three. I entered Chromevox OO for Chromevox options, and I navigated to Braille. I'm now going to enter a Chromevox down arrow key. Select a six dash. Select a six dash dot Braille table colon. English open paren UEB close paren comma grade two. And you heard that I selected English UEB. Press search plus space to activate. I'm going to continue navigating with Chromevox down arrow key. Switch to dot Braille button. Enable word wrap. Show Braille command. Bluetooth Braille display. Select a Bluetooth Braille display. You'll notice that I have the capability in Chromevox of selecting a Braille display. I'm now going to close this tab with a Control W. I just entered a space 456 on the Braille display, which brought up the Chromevox panel. I can navigate with a space.4 down. Go to beginning of the current. Go to beginning of the current. Go to end of table search plus all plus and shift. Space. Go to beginning of the current row back. search. Go to beginning of the current. Go to beginning of, current, go to beginning of table menu. Table. I'm now Press on up or down table, arrow to and I can navigate horizontal with a space dot two or a space dot five. I'm going to navigate with a space dot two. Menu, control, form, menu, link, menu, landmark, menu, heading. To activate Press heading, I'm going to hit a routing key, heading. and that menu. brought up heading. Art. And of course, I have the standard first letter navigation commands: space dot h, space dot f for form, space dot e for edit. I am now in a sample Word document, and I hit Alt-T. I'm now going to hit the up arrow key to navigate to Accessibility Settings. Accessibility Settings C. And Menu push item. Enter. 12, 12. Accessibility Settings. You'll notice that I have Turn on Screen Reader Support enabled and Turn on Braille Support enabled. Of course, you need to turn on Braille Support for the Braille display. But you might also want to turn it on even if you're not running a Braille display. Keyboard Echo works when Braille support is turned on, and it doesn't if it isn't. Document content, new line. So the last thing I'm going to show you is keyboard echo. I'm going to do a Chrome box A and then a T. Character and word echo. No typing echo. Character echo. Word echo. So I selected word echo, and I'm going to type in a couple words. Size 37.99, black R. Dear. Sam, comma. And you'll notice I have keyboard echo working because the Braille display is support is selected. And I think that's going to be it for this session.